Hi, I believe you are well by God's grace and you are taking the necessary precautions to stay safe. I know some of you are facing challenges in using the online portal, but I want to assure you that you are going to be okay as long as you keep on following our videos. Today, we are going to look at another aspect of the e-learning portal. That is an online video conferencing model. This will enable you to have face-to-face -face interaction with the lecturer. So sit back, relax, as I walk you through this video. Okay, so we come to the course area, and then we select the course that we want to go and hand the video conference. So introduction to software demo is the course, and then we scroll down till we see this blue button. It's the live lecture. Click on it, and this will take you to another page, live lecture page. So you can see join session there, and this conference room is ready. You can join the session now. So you click on join session. This opens another tab on your browser for you. So it's now loading the conference. Now, it asks you how would you like to join the audio? Is it through your microphone or you are just going to listen? So if you want to contribute, fine. If you just want to listen, you click on listen. This will connect you. So this is it. You have joined the audio conference. Now, on the page, you will see your, your username. There's a public chat, shared notes that you can share with others. Now we have welcomed to the first lecture. This session may be recorded. The server is running. So the model is called Blue big blue button. So here you realize that the session is not recorded and that is you. You can set your status just like you have in, in Facebook and all that. So you can set away or not. You can also send a message to either private or public. This is on public so you can send a public message. Now, this is a PowerPoint that probably the lecturer is showing so you can see. So you can see that the second, the next slide has been issued and it's there. You can see it. So the lecturer will use this medium to go through all the slides and you can hear what he's, he's saying. So as he's explaining, you can see that. So this is another slide that is there. So that is it. So let's see some options that we have. We can have a full screen whilst the lecture is going on, or we can change certain settings of the application. So we have pop alert for charts, which is turned off, pop alert for user join. So anytime a user join, you can do that. Now how to save your data. So this is it. So to save your bandwidth, adjust the currently being displayed so enable webcam is on and all that so you can save these settings so this will take you back to the presentation there's a icon there which will now enable you to have a full screen you can click on that same icon to take you back to the main page now this will hide the people who have joined now there's another icon here that is a video icon this is audio icon. Shared notes. So I can decide to share a note. This is a note shared by the lecturer. And you can also enter something like, um, mm, I think uh, this, this is, uh, this is good, yeah. I think this is good. I can decide to change the font style. So I'll bold mine. Yes. So as soon as I do that, everybody who has joined the session will be able to see. I can also click on the live chat, which is the public chat. So I can just say hello, sir. And then the lecturer will be able to see and respond. Say, hi, students. How can I assist you? So this is it. You, you can communicate behind the video 
as it keeps on playing. So as the slide is going on, we can do that. So you have between the shared notes and then the public chats, which you can still use. Now, the list of students who have joined will display at the left-hand side. I can also click on the student and have a or to start a private chat with that student. Or I can even chat with the lecturer privately while the session is going on. So this will create a space for me. So our chat will display there. So when I'm done, probably the lecturer has ended the session. So this is what you see when the lecturer ends the session. So you click on OK to take you back to the e-learning page. So this is it. Mm. So now it gives you for you to rejoin again in case there was a problem you can rejoin the session again so it take you back to the your course page so that is how you can use the blue button to have a conference or face-to-face -face interaction with a lecturer thank you stay blessed and stay safe